was able to recover or revive the uh, <coughs> the dead um, AGM battery so it saved me uh, 200 plus dollars on this one um, but uh, we'll see how it performs though uh, we don't know yet <coughs> maybe it drains faster or maybe it's good but it's been like uh, uh, one day and a half of charging at 13.0 volts so it's maintaining that voltage uh, for the last uh, day so probably it's good now okay we'll see if my 12 volt battery still holds up um, it's basically day two of just parking it okay so there you go Turns on, AC is on, and it's charging. Yep, that's the triangle there. So, uh, what I'm going to do is clear that error so that my uh, battery will get charged yeah. yeah good thing is it still charges though but it will like nag you that there's something wrong okay so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna put my uh, OBD scanner and then uh, clear the codes for uh, all of this and then see what happens okay now I have the scanner hook up okay now I am uh, I've erased the, uh, the errors but um, since my battery is bad um, the triangle basically will like uh, turn on on and off yeah like that but it will still charge them. and the thing with this is you could still drive this but um, since the triangle is turning on and off um, the uh, the engine power will basically very very small I mean you could drive it but there will be no torque at all I mean you're you'll just be like crawling now the worst part is uh, when those VSC, the check engine light, will turn on, um, there will be a period that it will no longer charge the hybrid battery. So you won't see any arrow going there to the battery. Now the moment uh, it does that, uh, you're going to be in big trouble because um, if, if there is no power or or the battery will become discharged um, the 12 volt battery will not be charged at all uh, it will be low and what will happen is you might end up like uh, not able to start it because it will be low um, remember that the hybrid battery actually charges the 12 volt battery and without the 12 volt battery um, you cannot start this one so yeah that's gonna be an issue later on so you could drive it but it's gonna be in a short distance so if you look at it yeah you could see how the the charge of the battery changes from like uh, five bars to three bars now yeah. so it hasn't set up any codes yet because i'm not driving it i'm just like on my driveway yeah see it, it tries to charge the hybrid battery um, this one is good actually if you do this because uh, it will not it will not completely uh, discharge the main hybrid battery now at this state um, the engine turns on and off on and off on and off on and off yep yep yeah this is this is what happens when when your battery is really in bad shape yeah. Yeah. The, the engine just turns on turns off turns on 
turns off. Yep. Let me see if uh, I turn off the air conditioning. See if there's a difference. Oh, okay. Now in big trouble. <laughs> the uh, uh, since it's turning on and off, yeah, it triggered the uh, the chicken to uh, It's like uh, my Prius is like uh, lit like a Christmas tree. So I'm gonna turn this off, and then I'm going to turn that uh, uh, lights off again. See okay, so I erase the codes here. So there are no more lights, but here's the thing, uh, there's no activity going on, I turn off the AC, there's no activity going on, the engine is running, uh, it's not charging, the fan at the back for the battery is not even turning on, so this is kind of weird because this is like uh, the car is in service mode, see the, the engine is running, so I'm gonna turn it off. Turn this off, and then we'll see what will happen. Okay. It should be back to normal. So, okay, it's charging. The engine is running. It's charging. That should be the ideal condition. So we're at three bars now. Yep. And then it goes. Well, once you have the red triangle, everything shuts off. Yep. It doesn't show anything yet here that there's a problem, but that's a warning though. Yep. It will turn on, turn off. Turn on, turn off. Do you remember there's no AC load right now? AC is off. Yep. So it tries to charge the battery. We'll see how many times. went down from four bars to three bars now it shows the red triangle yep the warning is uh, more frequent now yep warning is more frequent now so it's back to three bars You have everything now. So in this case, somehow I got five bars. It means that now the battery is full. <laughs> it's weird. Yep. And now my engine is like full blast. So this thing basically tells me that uh, the battery is not really that hundred percent bad. So uh, when I look at the code, if there's only like one bad block. Uh, a block means uh, two modules. So yeah. So we're probably gonna try replace that bad block and then balance everything and then see if we could restore this. But it's kind of weird that I have all green bars right now. So I don't know if this is a fluke or, or what, but yep. So we'll see if this green bar will will be restored back again. I'm going to turn this off. Again, turn this on again. The 
Let me see if that still shows uh, all green bars. Oh, it still shows green bar. Consumption it doesn't show anything. Well, I have only 7.1 miles per gallon. Okay, now it went back to my bus with it. Wow, rapid decline. Now my fan at the back is turning on. Yep. So yeah, see that rapid decline? Yeah, one bad block could actually like kill the hybrid battery. Yeah. Pretty bad. As in pretty bad. So I'm gonna stop testing this one before more damage is gonna be done because um, usually what happens is uh, if you have a, a if you have a bad block, um, they they basically like overheats, um, and if it overheats, yeah, it could actually destroy the nearby modules there. So instead of replacing two, you might end up like replacing like probably four. So yep, it's gonna be bad. So I only have two new replacement modules for this that will be shipped to me. Um, hopefully everything will be good, but yep, I'm like stopping this now. Yeah, what I'm trying to do now is basically just to uh, maintain the hybrid battery that, uh, that it's always like um, charged. And then same thing with the 12 volt battery. The 12 volt battery, uh, it's been dormant for like six months. Um, it, I was able to revive it. Um, so, um, so far so good. So uh, let's try test drive this Prius with a bad battery. See how it goes. Acceleration is just so so. Does it still charge? Yes, it does. But there will be a point in time where it doesn't charge after. And when it doesn't charge, yeah, that's bad. So it still does uh, the regenerative braking. is so sluggish yeah from 14 miles an hour yeah, my foot is on the pedal right now it's like press on the floor and it's yeah I'm like it's like a it's like a small incline but getting to 30 miles per hour yeah there we go <laughs> yep engine rip so high it's it doesn't sound good and the battery is not charging pretty much the engine is revving so high yep 30 miles per hour pretty much this is limp mode i don't know if you could live with this on the freeway 
Uh, probably downhill, you could probably go past uh, 30 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm making a turn and uh, it's struggling actually. And the engine is like revving up. Like, it's like, argh, it's grunting. <laughs> Yeah, downhill I could probably go like more than 30. Yeah, it's downhill now. 40 miles, 42, 45. <laughs> yep. And look at that. It's not doing anything now. Uh, at this point, your battery, your 12 volt, is gonna discharge because there's no charging. There's no activity going on. Even if I'm braking, there's no regenerative going on. Yep, it's struggling going up to 30. for your engine because it basically revs up or, or makes a lot of work which is not designed to. 